We are certainly living in amazing times, my friends. I want to clear a few things up for everyone. First, we had another major, major meteor sighting and sonic boom explosion in the northeast yesterday, right before nightfall. Well over 100 reports of a meteor streaking across the northeast skies and then exploding with two explosions. And also, I'm getting a lot of questions about what's going on in Oklahoma and Arkansas. Check out all these fires that took place at the exact same time in both of these states yesterday. People are asking me if this is associated with the meteors. I believe I have some answers for you. Check out these burns and we'll dig into it right now. That's right, my friends, welcome back. It is March 8th, 2021, 11.27 a.m., and yes, this was yesterday, around 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, this meteor sighting, this explosion, the sonic booms over Vermont and the Northeast states. This is becoming a regular thing now. Almost every day, we are getting major sightings along the border of the United States and Canada, and also, the explosions are picking up. The actual sonic booms, where we hear these things explode, Exploding. A lot of times when we see these shooting stars, they're just a quick blink of an eye and they're gone. But now we have explosions. Check this out. Meteor sonic boom shakes homes in Vermont, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire, New York, and Quebec. We can include Pennsylvania in there. Me and my mother heard this clear as day. And I'm working on collecting those reports as we speak. But I just wanted to get this out to you and this small video we have, again, which was picked up at an airport webcam. So these are very useful cameras. We can all search. There's a bunch of them on windy.com. You can go down to any specific area of the country and find webcams, whether they're every five minutes, every hour, every day, they get a snapshot and sometimes you can really capture some amazing things. And this time we have this daytime meteor by Jeremy LeClaire once again making this post and here we go upper left corner. Amazing. There it is. The daytime sighting and explosion, which then led to the multiple, multiple reports. Over 110 reports on American Meteor Society alone and that's not exactly counting the people that may have seen or heard it like myself and just didn't know what they heard or saw until getting this verification today. So a very, very interesting ongoing situation with the space weather and the meteor sightings and explosions lately. Now that leads us to our College of DuPage website and the fires going on in Oklahoma, Arkansas. And as I hit play here, you'll see Missouri as well. If you look really closely, this also took place just before nightfall yesterday. You can see as we move the cursor across, the sun begins to go down and we see the smoke trail of these fires in Oklahoma and clearly Arkansas and a couple here in Missouri. But what's interesting is all these fires started at the exact same time. Now, I know many of you wanted to associate these fires with the meteors going on and a lot of you had concern about it, but I did a simple search, my friends, and I did find our answers for this. These were, in fact, planned and controlled burns that will be going on through March 31st. And I was also able to find the specifics on it for the Arkansas burns. So we can see here each each individual burn that they plan on doing or have done already. So these were in fact controlled burns. Come out here to our wide view of the weather coming in. We can actually see the trails of smoke before this begins. Let me backtrack on the radar here. We could see all of this smoke coming out of the area from Oklahoma and those states. Now when we hit play, we can see that these burns are going on before a big low pressure system is moving into the area that is going to bring some severe weather up through the southeast, which also includes parts of the eastern side of Texas, a lot of Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, and so on and so forth moving up towards the northeast. So is this a pre-burn in advance of these storms coming, or are they just sticking to a schedule which they had made a while back, as you could see right here? More than likely, after seeing the information, that is the case. It is pretty interesting how the timing went just before sundown these burns began and just before sundown we had this huge meteor event so I could see why people were making the connection and trust me I don't claim to know anything by any means so there very well may be a connection but as of right now I think we have a controlled burn ahead of a storm and as a separate situation a very very busy busy meteor situation going on all over the world and the country. Any updates or information added to this situation I'll gladly bring to you or any information that you guys find, pictures, video, any sort of thing that have to do with meteors or any of these situations, please let me know down below. If you have not already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Every little bit helps. Shout out to Canada. Guys, it is almost spring, the northeast. We're going to have some really, really nice days coming up. I hope everyone enjoys them and I will be back later on or tomorrow morning. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.